Alright, so for this video, it's sort of a continuation of writing a ticket. We've obviously seen how to write a simple ticket, and right now we'll move on to a more complex ticket. Kind of what I would call worst case scenario when a customer brings in a whole bunch of items, and it's your job to input them into the system. So when you see this video, maybe some of the things will be very improbable to, in real world situation. But, you know, it's, I think it's good to be prepared. Uh, you know when you write a more complicated ticket so let's just assume a customer walks in with a whole bunch of items the customer's last name is let's say something like peterson so we would click on write ticket to get to the oh, sorry uh we would get to the customer search window and once we type in peterson uh wow i don't know how to spell the system says that no records are found so that means that we have to you know click ok and add this customer onto the system so we would click on add customer um, once this screen pops up, you would type in the customer's last name. So, and we, you would ask them their first name and maybe their phone number. So, let's just say some that their name is something like Matthew Peterson, and their account number is something like one 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 two five six nine eight seven something. Um, so, we would do something like Peterson, comma, Matthew, and then their account number was like one one one. Uh, two three five nine eight seven six and Vivaldi in Vivaldi this is all really that it's required we'll actually get in a little bit more com you know the complex customer management window in a later video but for right now I think it's just you know we just need to add the customer quickly so we can continue writing this ticket and uh, once you're done you just click on save changes and once you're ready to write that custom write the ticket we will click on write ticket this screen obviously looks familiar uh, right now, we've added the the customer's name, Matthew Peterson, with their account uh, number, their their phone number in this case, just for your convenience up on the top left corner. And so we would let's just do a whole bunch of items. So we would click on laundry, and let's let's do like um, three uh, blouses. The starch window will pop up, and you would ask Mr. Peterson um, what kind of starch preference they prefer, and he says light starch not a problem and let's say we want to do robes and if we want to do one robe instead of actually clicking on one and then robe we would just click on robe um, this is a little bit faster if you you know you like doing just fast tickets especially if there's only one item so the starch window will appear and Vivaldi is actually really good at memorizing their their starch preference so right now we've actually added a ticket onto sorry an item onto the ticket and we previously clicked on light starch so Vivaldi will remind us that he likes light starch so we'll click on light starch without even even asking him so let's do dry cleaning and let's do let's see one uh, vest and let's do an alteration for that vest so we we'll click on alterations and let's add an invisible zipper onto it a question will pop up. It says, is this alteration t uh, attached to the item above? This is if you don't want to, um, you know, oh, you want to add the alteration without having to add another piece count onto the onto the vest. So we'll click OK, and the ticket will automatically update without actually changing the piece count. So this has been attached to the vest, and so it's 3 plus 1 plus 1, sorry, 3 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5, and then the total amount is $30.50. All right, so for the next um, scenario, let's you know, let's just pretend that he, you, he's bringing in an item that is not currently in your list of items. So what we would do, and actually he wants that item dry cleaned. So let's just assume it's something like a, uh, um, an ugly sweater or something like that. Uh, we would click on Describe and Price. This is pretty much located on every single um, class. And the first one above is usually Describe and Price. So we would type in ugly sweater with a price of three dollars and fifty cents or something like that and then we'll click OK and that's automatically updated for us If we want to change the price we would click on the selected um, item and then we would click on change price and then we'll change the price to from three dollars and fifty cents to let's say four dollars and fifty cents we would click OK and that automatically would be changed for us if we want to let's say change the quantity so we would go on vest we would change the quantity we would click on this change quantity. We would click on let's let's just type in two or something like that, and we would see that the price has been doubled. Uh, let's see. We could also remove the line, so we could actually take off you know t these these two vests and remove that line, 
it'll ask us to confirm and we would just click OK. And again, all this would be updated um, as well. Uh, you also have the ability to do upcharges. So let's say um, you, you have a whole bunch of items, sorry, you have a whole bunch of upcharges on a list. And right now we don't have a, a lot, especially in this demonstration. Um, but depending on your screen resolution, so down here there's a box full of upcharges. This is what we call the fast optional upcharges, you know, as well as the, uh, um, the colors. But depending on your screen resolution, so right now I have the minimum width resolution of 900, um, 1600 by 900 to be exact. And I'm limited to 20 upcharges. Um, if we had more than that, so so for this occasion, we only have a little bit, but if we were to have like more than 35 or something like that, depending on your screen resolution, it would all actually all fit right here. So I think we're done right here writing the ticket. So we have everything we needed. So we would click on save and print and we're back to the print ticket window. Again, I think we talked about the whole, um, on, on a simple ticket, we, would, we talked about pickup and delivery date. So we could choose um, whatever pickup date we want. I mean, you could switch months, we go back. Um, right now I actually um, you know, choose 29. We have the ability to add a coupon and this will be applied to the subtotal. So we let's do a coupon of $5. So it applied to the subtotal. So everything would you know, be discounted or whatnot. Um, that your tax will be available here, your environmental fee, and you're actually not limited to just environmental fee. You can change on the store manager um, a whole bunch of fees. So if you want a delivery fee or any additional tax or whatever, you would add on the store manager and it would be applied here. So in, in this case, environmental fee is not enabled and you know there's zero dollars. We also have the ability to do a prepayment. So if we want to prepay this um, ticket to for just ten dollars or something like that, we would click on these fast, quick dollar amounts. So let's say he paid the ten dollars. Let's pay with cash. And right now he would, you know, um, Vivaldi would tell us that he's underpaying this ticket. So we we'll just click OK, and we've applied that. Um, prepayment right here, so ten dollars. So he still owes eighteen dollars and eight cents. We could um, print tags if we only wanted print tags. We could email ticket and close. So if we don't want to um, print those tickets, we could again we could print and pick up. You know, I, I think I've said this before, where you can print the ticket and pick up uh, any any current items or tickets that they currently have at your location. We can print the ticket, which this most likely would be the most common. We can save and close, which we'll be doing at the end. If he has any um, current tickets, uh, sorry, a current tickets ready for pickup, again, we would click on this and it would give us a reminder. Unfortunately, we don't have, uh, obviously we, we just added this customer, so we don't have any tickets available for pickup but you know we have that ability we have we're able to do that uh, the print and prepay all today is actually pretty cool let me explain let's say if you've written like five tickets for this customer instead of prepaying each ticket individually and confuse the customer uh, you can prepay all those tickets on the last ticket you wrote so if we were like before this we were to do like a whole bunch of tickets and this is our the last ticket instead of you know paying all of that you know each and every single one of them and doing you know tedious job right now we would you know click uh, print and prepay all the tickets that we've you know um, written today uh, you also have the ability to print and re and repeat this customer so if you want to print a ticket and then write another customer another ticket for the same customer uh, you have the ability to do that and obviously the last button is called save and close which is actually what we're going to be clicking on right now. This will lead you back to the customer search window um, and to go back you would always click on the back button to get to the main menu um, and that is how you write a complex ticket. Uh, remember that we have plenty of tutorial videos ready for you to watch. Uh, be sure to subscribe to, to subscribe to this channel as we are um, We'll be doing actually a lot of uploading, of, you know, plenty of tutorials, both basic and advanced. So actually, thank you for watching and I'll be looking forward to your feedback. Thank you.